Hello and welcome to challenge number two on the 10 days of React beginner series. Today we're going to loop over some data. Now this is something that you're going to do in every single React application that you build. Let's get started. To start us off, let's look at what we're going to build. So this is the code sandbox that we are going to call the final version of this challenge. And I'm not going to show you any of the final code, but what we have here is we're going to have a user's array, which is coming from this user's data file. And I'll show you that in a second. And all you have to do is take this user's array and loop over it using JSX and show it in this format. Now, we already have some of the starter code here. We already have the styles in there for you. So you don't have to worry about that. Let's go ahead and take a look at the user's data now. We're going to open up usersdata.js right inside of this code sandbox starter. And you'll notice that it exports a default array. So it exports an array. That's how we can import it from that other file. You have your object, which is a user. Name is William. Location is Lagos. And car is Honda. We have Chris, Moon, Tesla. And you have a list of users out of this array that we can use to list over and loop over inside of our JSX. Now let's take a look at the starter. We have our data comes from usersdata.js and you can find a link to the starter in this uh, post. Now down here you have import users from users data. We looked at that just now. And over here we have div class name is users and we display data here. All right, so that starts our starter. Now let's go ahead and do the challenge. If you want, you can pause this video, go ahead and try to complete the challenge yourself. After you're done, just come back to this video, press play, and we'll get right to the solution. All right, welcome back. Let's run into the solution now. We'll go to the solution part of this challenge. Uh, let's go to our code sandbox, our starter code sandbox. Where are we? Here we go. In React, when you want to loop over something, we're going to use a dot map. If we already have an array, if you're not familiar with dot map, dot map is a way to convert some data inside of an array to another format. In this case, we're converting data from this object format right here, and we're converting it into a div that we can display inside of our application. And that's the cool thing about React and JSX is that you're actually using the actual JavaScript methods directly inside of your templates. If you come from Vue or Angular, you may be familiar with V4 for a loop or NG4 to loop over there. In JavaScript, we're going to use map. And that's what I like about JSX is we're closer to the JavaScript. We kind of learn more about how JavaScript itself works. All right. To get into our users, we're going to delete this display data here section. And down here, we're going to open up our JSX brackets with the curlies. And anything inside of here, we're basically saying, hey, React, JSX, evaluate what's inside of here. So we're going to say users.map. And we're going to say user arrow function. And we're going to return something here. So we can say div I am a user. So therefore, right now, we are just displaying I am a user every time we loop over a user inside of this user's array. And now, if we look, we have one, two, three, four, five users. That's what array does for us. It goes through this array, which has five objects in it. We do a dot map. We have a user. And we're going to create a function. And everything that is returned out of this function will be used for every single item in that array. If we go back to user data, let's open up users data. We'll close our sidebar. Each user has a name, a location, and a car. Therefore, we can actually use all of these just like we did in challenge number one. If we go over to index.js, we can say right here, user.name, and that's how we are able to show the user's name. All right, so let's keep going with this. We have user.name. And let's create a P tag around these so we can get some separation and some blocks. We'll remove this P tag right here. And let's continue this down. Two more. We're going to go with location, if I could spell it right, and car. Cool. And that's how we can do a loop inside of JSX. We just use dot map and we can loop over something. And once we return something out of this function, 
This is the element that will be used for every single item in that array. Now, there's a couple things to note about using a dot map inside of React. React is pretty smart about how it updates lists like this, and that's why it's super, super good for large lists and showing that much data. But the way that we can help React to update this list of data is that we have to give this div a key. And if you ever forget to give it a key, we can right click inspect element. React will actually throw an error for you. Let's go into our console. Each child in a list should have a unique key property. Now this is a way for React to know each item in the list. So we can say, hey, should I update this item or should I not update this item? Should I remove it? Should I add it? That kind of stuff that React can handle for us, it needs a key to do all that fancy stuff. Therefore, we're gonna go key is equal to, now you need something that is unique on this key so that each item has a unique key in this user object, user.name, user location, user car. Those might not always be unique. So the way that we can do this, we can have a number in here. You might be able to use like user.id. We don't have an ID in this scenario. We're going to add an index here. And this is just how map works. We can get two different uh, parameters here. Now the index, if we loop through, we can actually show that here. We say index, right? Index, we're gonna pass index in as the key as well. Now, so we have zero as the index because it is the first item in an array. We have one, two, three, four. Now we have used the key is index and now React is not gonna complain at us. Let's save this. We'll right click inspect. And if we look here, console, that is an old error. Let's clear the console. Let's refresh our browser. And we get no errors there. Very good. We're able to loop over this array now. We're able to loop through each item in the array. We're able to display it as we should. And the last thing I wanna note is this is an arrow function, which is using an explicit return, which means we explicitly say the word return. We can actually implicit return this and make this a little bit cleaner. Let's remove that return and this curly bracket. And we're gonna remove the curly bracket down here. And now we have a little bit cleaner code we have users.map, user index, and we have each item is going to have that element. All right. So that gets through challenge number two. I hope that was helpful. And I will see you in challenge number three.